well, maybe I needed some more points. I realized that maybe I would have liked a little bit dip in here or something like that. That's what the add and delete anchor points are for. So I can add one to any segment, or if there's one already existing, I can delete it. The great thing is the pen tool is also smart enough to know that if you're just in the regular pen tool and I get near an anchor point, it changes to a minus. Hopefully you can see that little thing, it changes to a minus. And it says, oh, you, wanna, you must want to delete that anchor point. Or if I'm on a segment, you notice it says plus, and it says, oh, you must want to add one. And that's great unless you have a bunch of them clustered together, because then you might be trying to subtract one, and you just accidentally added one. So sometimes I use the add and subtract tools, and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how much work I'm actually trying to get done in there. But I can add a couple points here. Let's add a point, and I do that. It automatically adds one with the handles. And then I can come over here, and let's actually delete this point. So when I do that, it just jumps and gets rid of it. So the nice thing is not only does that work well when I'm drawing something, but also it works if I've used one of the tools. So I can come over here and choose the ellipse tool, and again, get that perfect circle that I said I'd never be able to get. And I'm gonna use the direct selection tool and select that path, and now I have the paths and handles available to me, and I'm just gonna squash that down. And because I've got my smart guides on, I can see when it's centered. So maybe I just wanted to make some kind of like bean shape. Now, could I have ever drawn that perfectly? No, even with the pen tool, even with you know a Wacom tablet or whatever, one of the pressure sensitive tablets, I couldn't actually ever draw that and have that be nice and symmetrical. So a lot of times I just think, what does that really seem like to me? Well, in my head, it's like an ellipse, but without a point or whatever. So maybe, you know, maybe we take the ellipse tool and I wanna delete some points come over here to the delete anchor point tool, and if I delete that point and that point, I get a nice oval that maybe I didn't draw before, couldn't draw before, or I delete that and I just get kind of an odd shape that way. So there's a lot of different ways I can delete certain items. Maybe I want to make a triangle, and I didn't like the triangle that the triangle tool or the polygon tool gave me. I can come over here and I can just delete this point Click on that, and now I've gotten rid of that. And I find that it's a lot easier to distort this than it is if I had used the polygon tool and tried to distort it. it if I've drawn it uh, equilaterally, it wants it to stay equilateral. And I don't know why, it drives me crazy. So I'd rather start with a square and then just delete points from there and work with that. Or maybe I wanted to round. We talked about rounding one corner. Is there a way to do that? Well, I can do that here if I wanted to. I could change that from a hard corner point to a nice rounded point, and I can play with that. So I've got a triangle, started with a square, got rid of a side, and rounded it that way.